Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel and I'm going to show you guys some spring outfit ideas because I did some massive hauling with my awesome friend KL of Secret Life of a Bio Nerd. I'm a huge fan of her channel so make sure to check out her version how we style the same spring essential haul piece. It's such an awesome idea so make sure to give all the props to KL for this collab. On top of our list, we decided to go with Peplon. It's a must have for spring and summer. I went with Aqua, she chose white. So for this one, it's like this sweet feminine look if you're wearing like a fitted bottom, like a pair of skinny jeans or a pencil skirt. We also chose this dainty necklace. I love anything that has triangles on them. Wondering of outfit details, just expand the box below for the active links and the rest of what I'm wearing throughout the video. I played up the aqua top with mixing pastel colors and lavender with the Macy jacket and my Forever 21 shoes and earrings in baby blue with my H&M bag. So we also decided to pick up this striped scarf since stripes is like always in season during this time. For the girls out there that live in a colder climate, Rocking these Steve Madden combat boots, you can either fold it or unfold it. Hmm, I think unfold it for the slug. What do you guys think? Take out the extra layer if it gets really warm outside and wear it as is. I also decided to pick up this Forever 21 blazer in shorts. The metallic shorts won me over because it has like this scallop cutting in the front and it helps elongate your legs if you are a lot curvier or petite. Also, wearing nude color shoes helps. I added a touch of studs from the Zara shoes to my H&M bag, which was under $20 so it's a great find. Floral tee, we decided to pick this up with also the Oxford flats. I wear these flats a lot and they're so super comfortable. The outfit clips in this one are out of focus so I'm sorry for that. I'm still new at using my camera. While we were shopping, we picked up some skinny belts. This one with a mini gold plate. It helps like define a waistline when we're wearing like a loose tee. Mm -hmm. So the next essential piece I chose was a bodycon. I think it's just something you can wear year round. But for spring, go for something lighter like a pastel colors. I'm loving the color blocking effect. I actually covered this up with a sheer blouse for people that want extra coverage. If it's like cooler out or just one of the extra spunk to their bodycon. This is like perfect for that daytime date look. Or you can just keep it simple and just wear it as is. I love the contouring panels of the colors. It suits all body types because it gives like an illusion of an hourglass shape from the color panel. For my casual girls, KL actually found this high-low hemline tank dress. And I scooped up the black one to wear it in three ways. First, I'm going to wear it as a skirt by choosing this studded belt. It has a bow in the front, but I decided to flip in the back because the bow in the front can look bulging if you try to wear it as a two-piece. One day, wear it as a skirt. The next, wear it as a simple dress with a pop of color or two. Um, you know that emerald is the color of the year, so I picked up these shoes from Zara as my statement piece for spring and summer. And um, we also picked up a pair of destroyed shorts which didn't fit me at all. So I decided to find an alternative from Love Culture and they're pretty much the same price. I love the cut of these because it actually scoops up a little so it makes your legs look a lot longer and you know how I am. I love to be tall because I'm not that tall. Only 5'3" can't go wrong with some Jeffrey Campbell platforms. I love this with this look. It's extra comfortable and gives you a street edgy vibe. For night outs, I like to keep it simple with my outfits because it's like the only time I get to wear my shoes out. Like the heels and all that. Just want to sass it up a little. It's like an art piece for my feet so I want to keep it as my focal point. We also picked up this scarf in the ECOT print and I love the color so I just decided to match it up with the motorcycle jacket from Love Culture and you can also wear it without the jacket depending on the weather. So yeah, sassy and classy. 
And lastly, polka dot pants for spring that we both had to get. Um, we just loved it so much. So I would wear this with neutral pumps like black, nude, or gray because of the ankle length of the pants. Um, I paired this with my black button up that I wore with the shorts with my black Steve Madden. So matching up the color coordination helps tone down the print. But if you want to have fun with print, just go all out. You might like it. I took my oversized Audrey Hepburn tee that I picked up from Sheenside.com. I tucked in the front to balance the fitted ankle length bottom with my loose tee with minimal polka dots on one side of the sleeve. So I kept it classy like Audrey and make sure to expand below for all the information and thumbs up. Which look was your favorite and make sure to comment below so I can read them and check back in a few days for another new video. And also watch Secret Life of a Bio Nerd on her version of how she styled these pieces. Love you guys!